In this video, we're going to be talking about my main, my favorite character, Thatch. We're going to be going over his signature kit. I'm going to teach you guys uh, what their best uses are, maybe the situations that they're not so good in. So uh, get your bottles of Captain Morgan ready and let's get ready to dive right into it. We're going to start up with the sword side signature. It's a move that has insane knockout potential, so much force, a good bit of speed, and because it moves Thatch's character, it can be difficult to punish. Here I'm going to opt for a side sig because of the spacing with Orion, a little bit too far away to land an end light or a D light. Signature does the job nicely. This is a reaction based punish here. Because Queen Nai whiffs that down air, I know I have the time to kill her with that fast signature. This last example, all I do is a chain dodge right through Bodvar's attack. We'll look at that one more time in slow motion if you need it. Really simple stuff, easy kill. Now, Thatch's down signature is a very interesting move. It's what I like to call a utility signature. It's very good at catching a dodge in, it hits all around Thatch, but it's very low force. Here there are two things I really want you to pay attention to. One, look at where Sentinel is when I hit him. He is behind me. And two, notice that the move doesn't kill, but it does set me up for the side signature not long after I hit him. In this clip, I want you to notice, again, I charge the signature. You can actually see Olgrim tries to dodge through me or around me is what he wants, but I'm able to deny that. And that's going to bring us right up to the last sword sig. Of course, a neutral sig. This is, in my opinion, Thatch's weakest sword sig, although it is pretty good for anti-air, and I think there's a lot of merit to gravity canceling this move. In this clip against Sentinel, you're actually going to see me use two end sigs. That first one whiffs, but it denies all that aerial space and makes it hard to come back. Gives me a great opportunity to get in position and catch him out with the gravity cancer. Once more, this is going to be a reaction-based kill. Val dodges through me, and I know 100% my move will hit. That's going to bring us up to the blasters. So we'll start with the side signature. And much like the sword, which got great, great force for knockouts, very fast startup frames, good hitbox coverage. Although it doesn't have nearly as much range as the sword, it's still a powerful kill move. What I want you to notice here is how quickly I can punish that Vrax. Even with all his decks, he still gets caught out by the Sig. Now what I find substantial about this clip is that Bodvar ground pounds, I have time to move over and hit him with the Sig before he reaches the ground. Now we're on to a bit of a fan favorite here. Thatch's Blaster's Down Sig, aka the Cannonball. This move is very unique and it has unreal kill potential for an offstage opponent. You do not want to sleep on this move, and I think way too many people underestimate it. Let's take a look at it. Oh, we're going to see exactly how strong this is in the edge guard. I want you to really pay attention to the spacing when these connect. You notice the left cannonball actually hit Ragnar first, so we're going to see that again in slow motion. What I really want to showcase here is how safe this is in the edge guard. Completely unpunishable, and look at that. A dodge gets caught out, and that is an easy kill. Now this is going to lead us into the last signature, Blaster Neutral Signature. Uh, this, is a, this is a good move in the sense that it pushes Thatch backwards when he shoots. There are going to be two hitboxes coming out, and of course there's a great deal of force on this. Pretty good for knockouts. Right here we've got the perfect NSIG example. You're going to see Thatch actually stepping back is the only reason I hit Queen Nye when she dodged through me. The first shot whiffs, second hits. On this final clip, I actually charge the NSIG to bait Azop, and you'll notice in slow-mo, he actually tries to punish me with a Sair. That's going to be a wrap for the Thatch Signature Guide. I hope you guys found this helpful. If there are other topics or guides that you specifically want me to make, go ahead and request them. I do read all the comments, and I'll try to get to everything requested, or at least the most commonly requested stuff. You guys have a good one.